Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So unfortunately, a patch has not yet been released that solves my problem. Um, the problem is, is that I need the Norse, uh, Saxon, uh, I think there's a couple other unit packs that I don't have uh, that were causing the problems. And so what I did is I purchased the unit packs because they're on sale for 50% off, so I got them all for like $350. Um, and that seems to have solved the problem. I can disband my retinue now over here, and it doesn't cause the game to crash. Hopefully, nothing else will cause the game to crash. But this now gives us opportunity to actually start raiding again, and we're totally going to do that here, guys. Uh, so let's just get moving here. We're also going to continue to build up our uh, our. We're going to continue to build up this guy into a city. I have not a. Uh, I've not disabled the uh, monthly auto saves yet because I want to just be careful in case you know the game does crash here. But that being said, we should now be able to bring our retinue home, uh, begin conquering again as well. But I think I'm gonna raid first. Um, how many boats can I get from somewhere? Two. Sixteen. That's exactly what we're looking for. That is exactly what we're looking for. Should probably have a blot here soon as well. Hopefully we don't die anytime soon. That's really what what we're uh, one of the things we're hoping for here. Let's uh, start the raid. Please um, get on the boats. Beautiful. We're gonna start raiding down here, and hopefully uh, the game doesn't crash, guys. This is you know a, a big moment for us. Still only have twelve vassals for some reason. I think that's a bug. But we'll keep that going. There's a pretty big rebellion going on down here. Oh, there's a Lollard Uprising. Really interesting. Well, yeah, I might uh, start moving out to engage other factions soon. So, yeah, that's going to be something we're going to do here in a second as well. So I did toggle looter. Good. All right, cool. So once you get on here, this should actually go away. And you should be fully ready to be looted. You are beautiful. Everything's looking good. Just need to watch out for... Um, gotta watch out for the, the troublemakers, as always. These guys are the troublemakers, just for clarity. So we'll see them. They'll assemble probably in here, and then we'll run away. Um, always get the military tech spread. Just always get all the tech spread, I would say. And then actually, I'll probably come and cross into Friesland. What is going on here? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, yeah, let's cross into Friesland. We've already raided as much as we can. Uh, this does set this guy as hostile, which sucks. Um, so hopefully this doesn't end up killing off uh, the Zealanders' troops. It probably will, though, and I feel kind of bad for it. If it does. We'd also be really nice if uh, the Yams Vikings could form. You know, sometime in the next 2,000 years. That would be... That would definitely make me happy. Um, so either we burn a heretic. So Beta, his opinion, gets much worse of me. Gunner dies. Or a bunch of people's opinion gets much worse of me. And Gunners gets better. Well, sorry, but I'm gonna burn your uh, your son, at, your brother, cousin at the stake. And I don't like this army just sitting here. So we're gonna we're gonna head out. What are you doing? Why did you start going that way? That seemed like a bad plan. Oh my god, my son can become ambitious. That is fantastic. Um, ambitious is really good. Just a fantastic trait. He's actually got some pretty good traits. Temperate. Just, uh, just ambitious. Those are all really good traits. What do I have? I believe I'm a, a brilliant strategist. Do I want my son to be a brilliant strategist? I think at this point that's fine, actually. That will help continue to give my military a little bit of a boost for now. Um, as long as he gets good enough stewardship. Which he's already at 9, which is really good. I mean, it's not really good. It's good. Alright. Do you have any money no you don't we'll come down here and raid more time cool 
So this is going good. I mean, the game hasn't crashed, guys. I'm really happy about this. I can actually lower or move my retinue. At least that's the next test we're going to do. Who are you at war with, France, by the way? You're currently not... Oh, you are at war. You are... You're helping in the West Frankian conquest of Sardinia. Interesting. The Abbasids are still dominating this, which is real scary. Doesn't make me happy at all about that. Uh, that will be something we're going to try to set back here. Oh, I, I totally missed what the second thing was. Uh, you're almost done, which is good, because that means you'll be able to build the next thing. Uh, we're, we're making plenty of money, which is just really, really good. And we're going to get an extra 160 gold from the raid, which is also fantastic. And then, you know, I might go to war with these guys, maybe? Are you at war with somebody? You are. Um, you are attacking as part of the de jure war over Bedford. And I'll probably go after Middlesex. What is going on with that boat? Um, I think the game is really confused. I think the game has got a problem, guys. That is definitely a problem. Well, you finished. So let's get you out of here and hopefully I'll stop seeing that. Because that worries me. I don't like the random zero boats populated, popping in and out of existence. Oh, come on. I did not need to lose 50 gold there. That's okay. We're going to get a good amount of gold when this fleet is done doing its thing. A real good amount of gold, actually. We're going to get, I don't know, 160 gold or so. Yep, that's the plan. What, what just ticked? These autosaves are really slowing us down. I realize that, but... Do I want to have a hold a great blot? I think I do, actually. What do we got for prisoners? Got a few. Let's hold a great blot. It's not the greatest use of our money, but it's not a bad use of our money. And once we can get a... Uh... It's funny that I can have blots and loot as a merchant republic. This makes me really happy. Um, You're going to die. And you're going to die. And we're going to now have a grand celebration. And everyone's going to be happy and, and thankful that we murdered all those people. But a D. That's the music that's going on in the background now. We're done looting here. How much money do we get? 93. How much money can we get? 21.1. Do you got any money here? Not a lot. Oh, a lot more in Devon, though. Cool. Can we increase our retinue? That's another good question. The answer is yes, I think. Yes, we can. Um, we currently have... A, yeah, I'm still going to get another one of the good retinues. Um, that may have been a huge mistake, actually, because I probably should have... Uh, continued to grow my my uh, that city. So that actually may mean I'm going to just come here and drop off this money real quick here. Uh, because that will give me the money I want, which is good. And then I'll have you get right back on the boats. And I'm actually going to have you come all... Holy crap, the Umayyads. Um, have you come down here and do some raiding. They're a beautiful orange color now. Or yellow color, I should say. And I'm guessing they're still completely Sunni. Yep. Or Shia, in fact. But yeah, we're going to come down here and try desperately to get to, to raid these guys and see what we can get from their lands. Ooh, there's a really good one right here. What do we can get? 37.4? 37.8, even better. 34.0. 40.1. I found the, the, the promised land, guys. And then, I, oh, I want to upgrade this holding. Let's do that right now. We'll pause and upgrade you to the next level. Two more to go.
And then, yeah, here's where the good boats are. Yep, they're going to be upset until I get uh, the raid going. 2.8 per day, or for four days. That is really good. Just got to keep our eyes out for enemies, which is basically what you always have to do when you're raiding. They, they come for you. They come for you. Are you guys at war with somebody? You are. That's actually really good because that means that their forces are totally somewhere else. Uh, they have raised up their personal levy, though, or somebody has raised up their personal forces here. Ooh, Tangiers is probably going to be a great place to raid as well. And the answer is it's not because their fort level is really good. So, yeah, we're not going to be raiding Tangiers, but we might go for Nebla next. Or maybe one of these guys along the, the Portuguese coast. Oh, we can't raid anymore here, so we already got all the 30 Gs. Yeah, let's have you come back on the boat. Actually, can you go like this? Hopefully we don't run into an army. That's what we're really hoping for. Please don't have a big army. Just sit. Oh, God. And there's the army I said. Let's hope we don't run into. Run away. Yep, there's the army. I was just like, let's hopefully we don't run into an army. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, and they're going to have 44 dudes just waiting for me there. Come on, get on the boats. Hopefully that at least directs their retreat towards the boats. Or did my army just get completely defeated? Nope, got completely defeated. Well, that's a problem, guys. That was a mistake. I definitely made a mistake there. Okay, got everybody lowered. Um, We can always have more dudes now. We're no longer gavel kind. Let's give her a good tumble. Who are you at war with? This is really interesting. There's just a random army just sitting here. A sexy army. Okay, good. We got 41 gold, though. I'm still happy with how everything worked out there. You have finished upgrading which is good. Let's, um, I am not upgrading my retinue. Did not even notice that. Yeah, you should be upgrading. And then you, my friend, should be, um, constructing probably a fortified vault to get that, that boost in income. I'd love to get these, these, some of these other guys built here. We'll get the fortified vault to get that boost in income. Income boost is always good. Uh, and then what I want to do is get a boat. Okay, I didn't need 47 boats. Um, I want your boats. Somebody give me your boats. Thank you. I'm going to ship these guys over. Ship it. Get on the boats. And then I'm thinking about going to war again. Why not? Did you ever convert this province? I think you did. Yes, this is the only one left to convert. Um, yeah, we'll let the merchants in. Tell us more about Hindustan. Um, I'll decline the gift. I could decline gifts sometimes just to make my court smaller, so I have to worry a little bit less about uh, intrigue problems. be nice if we got a uh, a free men a free men oh beautiful Kent has converted what else is converted Germanic's really spreading Germanic's doing really good in this war word I said world but it came out were what in the hell happened here uh, there has been a serious fracture in the the Frenchian Frankian, Francian peoples. Okay, so you are getting eight soldiers per month. So let's make sure you are getting eight soldiers per month. Right now, you're not gaining eight soldiers per month. There you go. Okay, they went. They ticked up. Okay, cool. Are you still at war? 
you're not, but I think this is a beautiful as enough time as any to uh, try to get Middlesex here instead of Holy War. So let's do that, and then I will come on down. Am I really good in the center? No, I am not. I am good on the flank. And then we'll get this guy in the center, and this guy on the left. Okay, good. Hopefully they don't hire uh, a big holy order. We did get a crossing penalty. Straight crossing? Okay, apparently that counts as a straight crossing. Did get a nice victory there for 30% war score. Beautiful. Looks like Middlesex is going to be ours soon in a second as well. Nice, easy battle. Oh, a bunch of people have been called in on the war. Including, uh... Is that a revolt that I want to work out for? Or is that Mercia? A Gwynedd has been called in on the war. Okay. Well, with that being known... Um, I don't have a big levy to do anything with, do I? I really need to let mine rebuild, too. Well, we're just going to use our... We're just going to use these guys to keep the, the pressure up. Come on. Let's let's get the uh, this war done with. Oh, they're coming with 1,100 men. We should be able to crush that army, too. Not having any light cavalry is really what's causing the, uh, the major problems with this battle. Can I get you here in time? 20th of April. It's going to be close. We did get there. We should win. We've already crushed their left. We should be able to crush their center. Now, this is good. The more enemies we can crush, the better we're doing. Oh, they raised another 309 men. Did I just completely crush that army? Kind of looks like I did. Oh, another 1,500 men are on their way now. From Gwynedd. I actually don't have enough men to siege down this holding. So they're going to come for us. I think I paused. Do I get out of here in time? No, I don't. All right, well, we're just going to take the, the fight then. They have a decent amount of heavy infantry, but we totally crushed their right, which is really good. Oh, good, and Alond has converted as well. Uh, they're, they're doing the Lord's work in the center, but th th this the flanking penalty should really hurt them here in a second. I mean, they're going down to Surrey. There's a lot of stuff going on here. You're in a double war. Ooh, 87% war score. That was a nice... Seat. I don't know how I got so much war score out of that one battle, but I am not complaining. I'm not going to take that straight crossing penalty again, though. So of this army, only 520 of them are combatants. Um, looks like my allies are declaring holy wars on my nearby enemies. Or my vassals, I should say, are declaring holy wars on my enemies. And that's not a bad thing. Did we just crush that force or did they just escape by boat? Well, let's uh, get keep building up the market town because we got the opportunity to do so. Things are going really good, guys, and we haven't had a crash, and that makes me really happy. Um, because this is going to be the daily series, and, you know, to be the daily series, it has to not suck. Oh, look, they got another 196 dudes. This is the province that I need to siege, but without any, without any reinforcements, it's not happening. Um, uh, and I won't be able to get over this, this, this troop limit anytime soon, so we're just going to sort of bounce back and forth. Here, crushing these forces, 93%, and then hope we can win this siege, which is going to take a long-ass time um, before taking war score ends the game for us, effectively. Ends the war. Um, our troops are slowly rebuilding, but I think it is now time... Do I want to just send in a force here to crush these guys and hope that that gives me more, more war score? And I think the answer is yes. 94% war score. Um... Yeah, this is going really well. I'm really happy about this. 
this I was worried for a little bit that we were totally screwed but in the end it looks like things are actually going in our favor a little bit and that's good that makes me happy surprised that they still have those forces there but 94% gotta win this siege but we are going to end this episode here, so thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I'm actually going to let you guys all just sort of see me do this, which is to change the autosave in interval back to yearly. And with that all being said, I thank you very much for watching. On the next episode, we're going to try to win this war without any of our domain troops. Otherwise, I'll have to go raise them up and bring them in, and we'll consider doing that soon. But with that all being said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.